So hello guys, welcome to Experimental X. Today I'm with the Space Development Nexus or SDNX and in association with SDNX, I'll be telling you about Rocket. So this video is the first part of the Rocket Beginner series and in upcoming videos, I'll be telling you each and everything about Rockets. How can you make your own Rocket? What are the various components of Rocket? Various subsystems of Rocket? What is Rocket Aerodynamics? What is rocket propulsion, rocket structure, rocket recovery system, rocket stability systems, and so on. In this video, I'll be telling you about the rockets, how rocket is different from missiles, and history of rocket, why do we make rocket, and what are the various components of rocket. So let's start with the basic question, what is rocket? Uh, so rocket is basically a vehicle or a projectile that goes in space, follows a certain path or a trajectory, and it is having its propulsion system which propels the rocket in the sky, and it is always having the accelerated motion. So let's start with the basic question like if a bullet is fired from a gun so can it be a rocket? So in order to understand it let's see what happens when a bullet is fired from a gun. So as soon as the bullet leaves the gun muzzle its velocity keeps on decreasing and it is not having any of its own propulsion system so a bullet cannot be a rocket or suppose if an arrow is launched from a bow so can it be a rocket again the answer remains same as soon as the arrow leaves the bow it is not having its propulsion system and its velocity keeps on decreasing and it will have deaccelerated motion so it cannot be a rocket now the question is can an aeroplane be a rocket it looks very the question looks very silly but the answer is no because the aeroplane moves with the fixed speed once it takes off from the runway so it is not having accelerated motion though it is having its propulsion system but it is not capable enough to go in space or in vacuum so no aeroplane cannot be termed as a rocket so now you know the rocket let's move to the history of rocket in 9th century, uh, the Chinese somehow discovered the formula of gunpowder and by 11th century, Chinese filled the bamboos with the gunpowder and they used to make the primitive rocket. That's how rocket was discovered in China. In 13th century, when the Song dynasty of China was having a fight with the Mongolians, so what they did, they mounted the primitive rocket on the arrow which is known as the fire arrows and uh, they mounted the rocket on the arrow so that arrow could go to the greater distance with the greater speed and could create a greater impact. That's how rocket were discovered in China. By the end of 18th century, Indians also learned how to make rocket and they used the rocket in warfare. Mysorean king Hyder Ali was the first one in India to use rocket in warfare. After that, many significant event occurred but in 1814, British mathematician William Moore was the first one who gave rocket principle and rocket theory. And in 1921, former Russia, Soviet Union, USSR was the first country to develop a working solid rocket motor that could go in space up to 1300 meters. Yeah, it was just 1.3 kilometers, but yeah, it was a greater leap for the mankind. During the Second World War, Germans started working on the liquid engine and they make the rocket that can go up to 180 km in space. Thus, Germany became the first country to go in, to launch a rocket in space which could cross the von Kármán line of 100 km. And after that, rockets were used for so many constructive purposes, defense purposes and attack purposes as well. Now, the question is, what is a missile and why do we use a rocket? So basically, rocket is a vehicle just like other vehicle, it is having a payload. So payload is basically something for which your rocket mission is being paid. It could be anything, it could be a satellite that orbits around the earth or other heavenly body, it could be a telescope, it could be an orbiter which orbits around the moon and other planets, it could be a lander that lands on the moon and other planets and it could have crew and space tourists as well. So rockets are mainly used for constructive purpose. But 
when the rocket is having warhead or ammunition as payload then the rocket is known as missile so missile is nothing but a rocket having a warhead or uh, an ammunition in its payload so that's all about rocket and missile let's move to the components of rocket so as you can see the first thing at the tip of the rocket is the nose cone so nose cone makes the rocket aerodynamic so it could cut through the air very easily after that we are having like let me change it for you so after the nose cone we are having the recovery system so the recovery system helps the rocket to recover after some mission so not all rocket is having recovery system but yeah at initial stage the booster stage is having recovery system it could be parachute based recovery system or it could be vertical takeoff or vtvl recovery system on which spacex is rigorously working on after that we are having the rocket avionics component or the electronic system of rocket so it consists of rocket it is the rocket guidance system it consists of sophisticated radars sensors onboard computer which guides the rocket throughout its course in space and after that we are having the propulsion system so this is a basically a model rocket but in actual rocket 70 to 80 percent of rocket mass is comprised of propulsion system so propulsion system basically produces continuous thrust which helps the rocket to propel in space after that you can see these are the fins this fin comes under the stability system so this makes the rocket flight very stable so that's all for this video in next video i'll be telling you more about the rocket aerodynamics rocket propulsion and other various components of rocket so in order to support the production of videos like this you have to like the video you have to subscribe the channel and stay tuned for the more videos that's all for today now Sanjasa will come and tell you about the SDNX, what is SDNX and what is the motive of SDNX, what is the purpose of SDNX. So that's all guys for today. See you in the next video. Hello guys. Namaste. This is Sanjay Rathi. And uh, if you are really impressed and convinced uh, with the Mr. Akshwansu Tiwari's uh, uh, video uh, telling the importance of rockets, and you also wish to pursue career in space or aerospace then get your rocket science game on and if you really want to create your own rocket and you want to launch it by yourself then join SDNX it's a platform for people like you so get your rocket science game on and launch a rocket think about multi-planetary species thank you